I'm not a big fighter. I'm a very relaxed person. People do see it as violence. It's, if you're unknown about the sport, it's looked like a violent sport. I purely fight because I better my skills. So I fight as a, as a proof to myself that I'm, I'm improving in the game. And I like to fight better people. What I love about it is it's a team effort up until the day of the fight. On the day of the fight, you're a solo fighter within that cage. You've got nobody to let down, really, but yourself. So it's you who puts the work in, it's you who gets the rewards out. Pushing yourself mentally is about having the right people around you. I, I pick some very, very good training partners. And we're all the same mentality. We love pushing boundaries. One of the main things I always say is push yourself out of your comfort zone. And I love going to that feeling. And luckily, the people I've chosen to train with also love going to that feeling. So we never, ever stop pushing. I've spent years, um, when I was 17 years old, I started in Taekwondo. It was the only thing in the area at the time that I could really get involved in that included sparring. After doing a couple of years in Taekwondo, I thought I was pretty good. And then I went to mixed martial arts. <laughs> it proved otherwise. Um, I trained with a couple of lads who at the time, I was 18, 19, they were 15. And they were showing people what to do. They were young lads, didn't look much, but they, they knew the skill of Jiu Jitsu. And to me that showed size doesn't matter, age doesn't really matter. It's all about mentality, skill and learning. The last week coming up to, up to the fight, um, do some nice pads, just feel fast, feel explosive. Um, when you're at that stage, you feel at your top. I've got some good coaches around me who are constantly working on a positive mind frame. When they're telling you how good you're looking, how good you're feeling, it's, it's obviously a knock-on effect. And you, you just, you feel good. You feel, I wouldn't say invincible, but you, f you feel you're gonna win. time of walking into the cage when your name's called, that's the only time I start to feel I'm in a situation here. I'm in a fight. I actually quite like the feeling. It's a mixture of emotions, adrenaline. It's pressure, but a good pressure. The only people I tune into is my corner's voices. Mick and Rich. They're the only people who I can hear when I'm in that cage. He must have studied me, understood that I fight left-handed. That threw me a little bit to start with. And then he caught me with an inside leg and groin shot. That, you know, <laughs> a couple of minutes. And then he, he hit me with a hard, straight through shot um, and broke my nose. Um, I felt it break straight away. He hit me hard, I saw stars. Luckily, through experience and training, we're put under these sorts of pressures. I knew what to do, I dropped, managed to get the tape down but that's all down to training, hard training. I was laying on my back at one time, swallowing blood, thinking, what am I doing here? But you just get on with it. Pure mental attitude, never give up. I wanted that belt. I was gonna get that belt. I wouldn't give up unless he was gonna either break something or put me down permanently. I was not giving up. I rely a lot on my cardio. I love my fitness, obviously with the swallowing of blood, the nose break, that completely puts your cardio out of sync. Um, it messes with the oxygen intake into your body, your muscles start to ache. That was hard to grind through that. I, I wanted to put more power into my shots, but I just physically couldn't. Um, I couldn't get the, my breathing right. You've just got to knuckle down. You've got to train hard. You've got to put the work effort in. Um, you don't just talk about it, you do it. You get on with it. <laughs>